gas stations can be hotspots for strange and sinister activity. From bizarre incidents to chilling encounters, here are the 35 most disturbing things caught on camera at gas stations. Customers entered a gas station's convenience store, expecting a quick stop to grab snacks, drinks, or pay for gas. However, what they encountered was far from ordinary. Behind the counter, on the side where cigarettes were sold and the register was located, the cashier was visibly tweaking. She was clearly in the throes of a severe drug-induced state, her behavior erratic and unsettling. The customers, caught off guard by the bizarre scene, reacted with a mix of confusion, amusement, and frustration. Some stood there, unsure whether to laugh or be concerned, while others opted to drive off rather than deal with the uncomfortable situation. While going about their normal activities at the gas station, the customers and staff present experienced a sudden and terrifying turn in their ordinary day. Without warning, an explosion occurred, sending shockwaves through the vicinity. The blast, though powerful enough to create significant noise and shudder, miraculously resulted in no injuries. The scene quickly became chaotic as shock registered on the faces of those nearby. The witnesses, driven by a mix of fear and instinct, wasted no time in reacting. They swiftly got into their vehicles and sped off, eager to distance themselves from the potential danger. A man walked into the gas station store, handed the cashier $10, and asked for gas at the pump. After returning to his car, he noticed the pump still wasn't working. Annoyed but not rude, he went back inside and asked why his pump didn't have the gas. What's up? Why are you giving me a hard time? Did I do anything wrong to you that you're making me do this? I waited in line, I gave you money. I waited in line. Initially, the other customers sympathized with him, but things took a turn when the man made a racist comment. Give me my money. <laughs> the mood shifted, and the support he had vanished. To make matters worse, in an attempt to prove a point, he grabbed several items off the shelves and stormed out, effectively stealing them. I don't need any of it. <laughs> Mine. Holy <laughs> that dude just jacked that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna call the cops. The situation, which began as a simple complaint about gas, had escalated into a chaotic scene, leaving everyone bewildered. I don't know that I was involved, but they were part in Grapevine, Texas, two individuals attempted to steal diesel fuel from a 7-Eleven's underground tanks. Using siphoning equipment, they targeted a significant quantity of fuel. However, a vigilant bystander noticed their suspicious activity and alerted authorities. The Grapevine Police Department quickly arrived on scene, surrounding and apprehending the suspects. Their plan to steal 250 gallons of diesel was foiled, and they were taken into custody. The attempted fuel theft ended with the suspects' arrest, their scheme thwarted by attentive citizens and prompt police action. In Arcadia, Vincent Ng stopped for gas before his trip home to the Bay Area. A woman approached, asking to borrow his phone for an emergency. Trusting her, 
Ng handed over his iPhone. What she did next was beyond expectation. Gas in Arcadia Monday before heading home to the Bay Area when a woman casually pulled up and approached the driver with a plea for help. Oh, uh, I have an emergency. Suddenly, she bolted to a waiting SUV. Ng chased her, grappling with the thief as the vehicle moved. After a brief struggle, two girls in the back seat pushed him out of the moving car. The dime hightailed it back to her SUV as Vincent chased her, struggling with the thief inside the moving car. I was more wrestling with her, so I grabbed her. Ng suffered scrapes and cuts, but avoided serious injury. Brandy Owens, a recovering addict, works the night shift at a Twin Falls gas station. One night, an armed man enters, demanding money. Terrified, Brandy complies. Well for Brandy, or so she thinks. Days later, Brandy receives a tip about the robber's identity at a recovery meeting. She informs the police, leading to the arrest of Cody William James Meade. He's convicted and sentenced to prison. I have no money in it. You first, now. Want the rest of the money? That's all the rest. I know you got more money. Then he walks behind the register. Though relieved, Brandy struggles with lingering trauma. Last two dollars. I have sir. In a bustling gas station in Mexico, an ordinary day took a terrifying turn. A gas truck, seemingly routine in its delivery, began to leak fuel. The pungent scent of gasoline quickly permeated the air, causing unease among the staff and customers. Moments later, black smoke started to billow from the truck at the front of the station. The truck's engine over-revved, likely igniting the vapor in the air. Panic ensued as the first signs of smoke turned into an explosive inferno. The vehicles, realizing the impending danger, reversed rapidly, taking a different route to escape the escalating disaster. On a busy afternoon at a local gas station, a large container truck pulled in to refuel. The driver, weary from a long haul, filled up the diesel tank and prepared to depart. As the truck began to move, the driver failed to notice that the container had caught on the fuel pump's canopy. Focused on navigating the tight space, he started to reverse, intending to swing the long vehicle out of the station. Suddenly, a loud metallic groan pierced the air. The caught canopy strained against the powerful truck as it continued to back up. Within seconds, the entire structure gave way with a thunderous crash. A tanker pulled up to the gas station as the driver began unloading gasoline. What unfolded would later create panic. The driver, acting on instinct, immediately hit the emergency shutoff and grabbed a fire extinguisher. His quick response contained the blaze before it could spread to the main tanks. When firefighters arrived, they found only minor damage. CCTV footage revealed the moment a suspect sped away in a stolen vehicle. 
Rounding a corner too fast, he lost control. The impact ruptured the pump, releasing a spray of gasoline. Station employees rushed to hit the emergency shutoff as the suspect stumbled from the wreckage. Police cars screeched to a halt, officers leaping out with weapons drawn. They apprehended the dazed suspect as firefighters arrived to secure the scene and prevent a potential explosion. An unusual case of fuel theft recently occurred at a gas station in southwest Houston, where alleged thieves drove directly over the container lids and stole hundreds of gallons of diesel fuel multiple times. Man driving over the underground fuel storage container lids at the family-owned Fuquay Express gas station off of Beltway 8 in southwest Houston. The gas station... Surveillance video captured a van driving over the underground fuel storage container lids at the Fuqua gas station off Beltway 8. The manager, Jerry, reported that the individuals in the minivan stole an average of 360 gallons of diesel fuel from the underground storage containers three days in a row. On the lookout and the, the van that's pumping the fuel out, they come at the same time. The van drives on top of the fuel tank that's all you see. No one comes out. They have the thefts have resulted in approximately $5,000 worth of stolen fuel. At a gas station on Watt Ave and Blackfoot Way, an alarming incident recently unfolded, captured entirely on camera. With gas prices soaring, some individuals are resorting to extreme measures to save money. On a recent Sunday, two drivers arrived at the Arco station. They quickly swapped the nozzles before one of them drove away, lying in wait for unsuspecting customers. The Buck, watch as these two drivers pull up to a fuel station at the Arco on Watt Avenue and Blackfoot Way on Sunday. The men quickly swapped the nozzles and one... When unsuspecting victims arrived and began pumping gas, the suspect started his meter, counting on the victims not to notice they were paying for his fuel. The underground storage containers three days in a row starting on Tuesday of this week. The minivan returned on Friday for the fourth attempt, but the manager... The gas station refunded the affected customers and reported the theft to its corporate offices and the sheriff's office. A heavy storm swept through Florence, bringing intense winds and rainfall. The storm's powerful winds targeted the gas station's canopy, a key protective element designed to shield the fueling equipment from the elements. Without this protective covering, the fueling area became vulnerable. In a bizarre incident that left onlookers bewildered, a man at a gas station was caught red-handed not with a fuel nozzle in his car, but drinking gasoline straight from the pump. The scene unfolded at a bustling station in Brazil, where the man, whose identity remains unknown, attracted attention as he appeared to be guzzling gasoline. In a display of quick thinking, bravery, and coincidence, a Marine veteran at a local gas station thwarted a potentially dangerous situation when two armed individuals attempted a robbery. The incident unfolded as the Marine was entering the gas station through the main entrance. Surveillance footage captured the moment when the armed suspects one brandishing a firearm rushed into the store. The Marine veteran immediately assessed the threat and sprang into action.
Without hesitation, he moved swiftly towards the armed individuals, leveraging his military training and experience. With precise timing, he managed to disarm the gunman, swiftly disarming him and neutralizing the immediate threat. His decisive action caught the suspects off guard, forcing them to flee the scene in haste. At a busy gas station, a customer was filling their fuel tank when a sudden fire broke out. Witnesses later recounted that the blaze ignited when the customer carelessly lit a cigarette, defying the clearly posted safety guidelines that prohibit smoking while pumping gas. It happened quick. It's a video you don't see every day. A fire sparking at the VP Racing Fuels gas station in Stuttgart. It moves from the car to the pump. Flames erupted around the car and the gas pump, causing panic among the other customers and staff at the station. As you can see in the video, the car is driven away and the flames are... Amidst the chaos, the quick-thinking driver managed to drive the car away from the pump, reducing the immediate risk of the fire spreading further or causing additional explosions. Emergency services were called, and the fire was swiftly extinguished by the station staff using fire extinguishers and safety equipment. Surveillance video captured a shocking incident at a gas station store, where a man was seen pouring a bucket of gasoline inside the store before setting it on fire. The footage shows the man entering the store with a bucket and dousing the floor with gasoline. Within moments, he struck a match and ignited the fuel, causing a sudden and intense blaze to erupt. Flames rapidly spread, engulfing the store in a matter of seconds. At the Exxon gas station on Metropolitan Parkway near University Avenue, a routine evening took a harrowing turn when an armed robbery unfolded. Happening now, Atlanta police asking for your help tonight, identifying this man wanted for armed robbery. It happened earlier this month at the Exxon gas station. Surveillance cameras silently recorded as a man, armed with a sledgehammer, smashed a coin machine inside the convenience store. His actions marked the beginning of a brazen heist that would escalate quickly. With the sledgehammer there, he's one of two suspects. An employee at the gas station says they tried to call 911, but one of the men pointed a gun at them and demanded... Inside the store, tension mounted as one of the suspects brandished a firearm, forcing an employee to abandon their attempt to call 911. Within moments, the suspect seized $1,000 and fled the scene, leaving behind a startled and shaken staff. In a dramatic turn of events at an Alabama gas station, a kidnapping victim managed a daring escape from the trunk of a car and sought refuge inside the convenience store. The victim, seizing a moment of opportunity, quickly opened the trunk and sprinted towards safety, entering the same store where the suspect, presumably unaware of the victim's escape, was present. In a similar incident reminiscent of a horror movie, an apparent abduction and assault unfolded at a Circle K in Buckeye. The victim, in a desperate bid for freedom, saw a perfect opportunity to escape when the suspect stopped to refill his fuel tank. However, her escape was tragically short-lived. The suspect, realizing what was happening, swiftly recaptured her before horrified witnesses could intervene. In a frantic bid to evade capture, the suspect hurriedly drove away from the scene, leaving onlookers stunned by the rapid turn of events. The gas station buzzed with activity one afternoon, typical of any busy day. Drivers came and went, filling their tanks under the bright sun. Amidst the routine, a parked car with its bonnet raised suddenly exploded, shocking everyone present.
The vehicle, seemingly undergoing maintenance, erupted into flames without warning, sending debris and thick smoke into the air. Startled patrons and attendants scrambled to safety as the fire quickly spread, prompting urgent calls to emergency services. At a BP gas station on North Plankenton Avenue in Milwaukee, Melissa Smith found herself in a harrowing encounter during what she expected to be a routine fuel stop. As she stood at the pump, a would-be carjacker saw an opportunity. He slipped into the driver's seat of her unlocked car and attempted to drive away. Reacting swiftly, Melissa refused to be a victim. She leapt onto the hood of her moving vehicle, clinging on despite the thief's attempts to accelerate away. Startled by her courageous response, the carjacker hesitated. Melissa's brave actions paid off. Unable to dislodge her from the car, the frustrated thief eventually abandoned the vehicle. Seizing the moment, Melissa swiftly regained control of her car and ensured her safety. At a Charlotte gas station in March 2021, Jennings, a man with several active warrants, was filling up his Mercedes-Benz, unaware that law enforcement was closing in. As Jennings and his fiance finished refueling, officers from the Carolinas Regional Fugitive Task Force, CRFTF, moved to apprehend him. The situation escalated rapidly when Jennings got into the driver's seat. Officer Tillman and his colleagues attempted to pull Jennings from the vehicle. During the struggle, Tillman spotted a loaded Ruger handgun in the center cup holder and alerted the other officers. Despite commands to put his hands up, Jennings kept the engine running and accelerated, moving the car toward another law enforcement vehicle. As the car moved forward, Tillman saw Jennings reaching for the gun. Fearing for their safety, Tillman fired his service weapon three times, hitting Jennings. The car stopped abruptly, and officers quickly extracted Jennings to provide first aid. Despite their efforts, Jennings gave up the ghost, with one bullet having entered his chest from the left armpit. In a stark reminder of the importance of securing your vehicle, Recent surveillance footage from the Prince George's County Police Department, PGPD, captured a brazen theft at a local gas station. The video shows a man exploiting an unsuspecting driver, demonstrating how quickly such crimes can occur. The footage reveals a typical scene, a driver, absorbed in the routine task of pumping gas, leaves his car door unlocked. Seizing the opportunity, a thief casually approaches the vehicle. Within mere seconds, the man opens the car door, snatches valuables from inside, and swiftly makes his escape, all while the driver remains unaware. In a tense and unsettling scene at a local gas station, a man's erratic behavior startled everyone present. The incident began with the man entering the store, visibly agitated and starting to rant loudly about various grievances. Customers and the clerk looked on in concern as his agitation escalated. At one point, the man began grabbing items from the shelves without paying, seemingly in a state of frenzy. However, 
When the clerk firmly confronted him and threatened to call the authorities, the man quickly dropped the items back onto the counter. Despite this, he continued to shout angrily, his voice echoing through the store. Two adults found themselves in a bizarre and dangerous predicament at a gas station. While refueling their vehicle, the gasoline nozzle malfunctioned and did not stop gushing out fuel even after they released the handle. Panic set in as the gas continued to flow uncontrollably, creating a growing pool of gasoline around their feet. What do I do? Attempts to stop the flow were futile, and the situation quickly escalated. Surrounded by the pungent smell of fuel and the threat of a fire hazard, the adults stood helplessly above the expanding pool of gasoline. What do I do? It's not stopping! In a quiet convenience store, a routine trip for one customer turned unexpectedly troublesome when his pack of Marlboro Reds went missing. It all began when the customer, carrying an energy drink and his cigarettes, decided to use the restroom. To see a paying customer. He's going to set down his energy drink and the pack of cigarettes he just bought while he uses the restroom. Leaving his items unattended on the store counter, a common practice among regulars. Meanwhile, an unfamiliar figure entered the store. Barefoot and wearing sunglasses at night, the man's suspicious demeanor betrayed his intentions. Spotting the Marlboro Reds left unguarded, he feigned casual browsing, waiting for an opportunity to snatch them. So he's going to make his way towards the cooler, sees that we're not paying attention, he's going to go back and he's going to grab those Marlboro Reds. The customer returned from the restroom, sensing something amiss but unsure if his cigarettes had been taken. In doubt, he opted to purchase another pack, hoping his original purchase was simply misplaced. Meanwhile, the thief, undeterred by his initial failure, picked up a bottle of spray and joined the checkout queue. Seemingly on his way out, he circled back discreetly, reclaiming the Marlboro Reds he had surreptitiously set aside earlier. In a shocking incident, a suspect set a Detroit gas station on fire while a clerk was inside. The suspect arrived at the Sunoco near Seven Mile in Huntington around 3 a.m., filled a trash can with gasoline from a pump, and then poured the fuel inside the building. After a brief exchange with the clerk, he ignited the gas with a torch. The 27-year-old clerk, who was inside at the time, suffered first-degree burns, but managed to escape alive. The suspect, a 35-year-old man, was apprehended shortly after the crime. He proceeds to taunt the gas station employee. You see him there. At a gas station in Massachusetts, an unexpected incident unfolded when the station's fire suppression system malfunctioned. Without warning, the system activated, blanketing customers and the area with foam. The resulting plume of fire retardant created quite a mess, leaving three people struggling to breathe. The plume of fire retardant caused quite a mess there. Three people reported trouble. Despite the scare, there were no serious injuries reported. Michelle Welch's visit to the Saito gas station on Clark Street, just north of Wrigley Field, began like any other routine stop. It was a sunny afternoon. And as she stood by her car, filling up the tank, little did she know her day would take a harrowing turn. As the gas flowed into her vehicle, Michelle's attention was momentarily diverted. In that split second, a shadowy figure moved swiftly and silently into the driver's seat of her car. And the man slides into the driver's seat, unbeknownst to her, and drives away with her vehicle. Before she could react, the engine roared to life and her SUV lurched forward, pulling away from the pump. Confusion and disbelief washed over Michelle. She stood frozen, unable to comprehend the audacity of what had just transpired. Reviewing the surveillance footage later revealed the calculated nature of the theft. It happened so fast, Michelle Welch was left with hands on her head, dumbfounded. A white car had pulled up on a nearby side street, its occupants seemingly waiting for an opportune moment. The thief, seizing his chance, darted across the lot towards Michelle's unguarded vehicle. Video from another angle shows the thieves pull up on a side street in a white car. He slipped inside, blending in with the busy activity around the gas station. At a bustling gas station, a driver filling up his car forgot to remove the nozzle before driving off, creating a dangerous situation. Despite other customers' frantic attempts to warn him, he drove off with the nozzle still attached to his vehicle. 
The torn nozzle caused a spark, and within moments, the gas stand caught fire. The flames spread quickly, forcing other drivers and riders waiting to fill up to flee the scene in panic. Smoke billowed into the sky as station employees hurried to activate fire suppression systems and call emergency services. What began as a heated exchange on the road escalated into a dangerous confrontation at a local gas station. Two vehicles, their drivers fuming with road rage, pulled into the station, bringing their dispute to a halt, but not an end. As both parties exited their vehicles, the argument that had started on the highway continued unabated. Despite the change in location, neither party seemed willing to back down or defuse the situation. The scene unfolded on a quiet Sunday morning at a local gas station. The surveillance footage showed a man filling up his car when suddenly another vehicle pulled up beside him. A man in a red vest emerged from a purple car, quickly hopped into the victim's still running vehicle, and both cars sped away in an instant. Then within seconds, a man wearing a red vest hops out of the purple car, gets into the already running VW, then both cars bolt, all while Flores watches on. In Roslindale, a routine evening turned into chaos at the Alpha Auto Fuel Station when a white Acura SUV, driven by a woman in her 20s or 30s, caused a massive explosion. As the driver attempted to put air in her tires, she accidentally shifted the SUV into drive instead of park. The vehicle lurched forward, crashing into a parked pickup and then plowing through gas pumps one and two. Co-owner Arthur Mantis was inside the gas station when a thunderous crash and sudden flames erupted outside. Mantis grabbed a fire extinguisher and rushed to fight the blaze, later admitting it was a risky move. The SUV races across the lot, smashes through pumps one and two. In Borough Park, Brooklyn, a bold theft unfolded at a BP gas station on 18th Avenue as a driver was in the midst of pumping gas. The scene captured on surveillance footage showed a bare-chested suspect circling a minivan parked nearby. With swift determination, he seized an opportunity, slipping into the van even as three female passengers remained inside. Moments later, sensing danger, the passengers hurriedly exited the vehicle. Ignoring their pleas, the thief started the van and sped away, leaving the side door flapping open in his haste. Despite the chaotic scene, fortunately, no one sustained injuries during the incident. The BP gas station on 18th Avenue video then shows the suspect getting into the van while three female passengers sat inside. They soon ran out of the vehicle.